Just reading Luke um, chapter 12, verse 13. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the company said unto him, Master, uh, speak to my brother that he divide the inheritance with me. <laughs> and he said unto him, Man, uh, who made me a judge or divider over you? <laughs> and he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness. <laughs> For a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. <laughs> and he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. <laughs> and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? <laughs> because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, mm -hmm, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, <laughs> and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. <laughs> and I will say to my soul, Soul, <laughs> thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> but God said unto him, Thou fool, <laughs> this, uh huh, mm -hmm, Night, uh, thy soul shall be required of thee. Uh, then whose uh, shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. Oh. Now, it's somewhat concerning, isn't it? Yes, this idea of God saying you're a fool. Yes. For every individual that thought clowning around, yes, making fun of me, Pope, uh, they all said I was a fool. Yes, I could be in the family. Yes, I could sew myself in. Mm -hmm. And then I could be on all of you. Yes, and then you could have me on the payroll. Yes, and you could solve all my problems. Mm -hmm. But God said mm -hmm. unto the fool, yes, well, I'll just make, I'll make new barns, right? I'll buy new lands, ooch, I'll make new investments, ooch. And I don't have to enforce the laws because as long as I have what is mine, yes, you are going to obstruct me from getting it. Mm. Now, this idea of Jesus, yes, 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 he did make you, make, man mm -hmm. who made me a judge or divider unto you yes now you need to take heed and beware of covetousness mm -hmm. for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things that he possesseth <laughs> now i've heard a lot of the really these uh, these sayings that men have yeah he who dies with the most toys wins right I can buy my way out of any problem. Pooch. I can bribe any judge, any sheriff, any police officer. Yes. As long as I'm in the family, I can get anything I say as long as I have money. Yes. But my thought was that these civil rights, yes, they have to be enforced for every American citizen. There can be no impartiality. Yes. You can never do anything unfair. Yes. You have a duty and obligation. Yes. To always enforce the civil rights of American citizens. <laughs> now, for every attorney yeah, that believed, ooch, I can get my way out of anything. I want. Well. You cannot use forgery and fraud. Mm -hmm. You cannot issue court orders where there is no due process to the parties named or the minors. Mm -hmm. You cannot violate the civil rights of any citizen of this nation. Mm -hmm. And you cannot have knowledge of felony ouch, or misdemeanor without you being personally liable. Now, now, for every attorney that thought, I could do whatever I want, you can't. There are laws in the United States that have to be enforced. The laws that require notice and opportunity to be heard. Mm -hmm. You can't make up some bullshit that as long as you serve the guy after it's issued, yes, you've done what the law says. Mm -hmm. You can't, well, you can't. You acted like you had no idea where I was at. Mm -hmm. You played, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Well, the truth was you did know who I was. Yes, you could have served me at any time. Mm -hmm. And your whole intention was to have me put in a mental institution so you could take my inheritance. Right. You could take my intellectual property. Yes. And then you could control all the money. 
Well, today, uh -huh, I'm going to want the laws enforced. Yes. I'm going to want my family. Yes. Then I'm going to want to sell my intellectual property because I'm going to want to manufacture it. <laughs> and for every employee of this government, yes, and any other government right now, 